What's up, sons? It's Blind Run with Son of a Tech once again, and today we have yet another Talking Head video. Judging by the title, you probably already know we're going to be talking about when is proof of stake coming to Ethereum. And specifically, this is kind of in reference to Ethereum 1, but we're going to reference it as the merge because it's essentially going to be this chain that everybody is currently mining on, merging with, of course, the ETH 2.0 chain, which now they just want to really make sure that it's rebranded as Ethereum. That's why I clarify it. The short answer provided by Tim Bako on the little roundtable Q&A we had with him earlier this week on the channel is that it will be coming at the end of 2021, outside of the holiday season, or pushed out to Q1 of 2022. We're going to talk about it in more detail right after a word from our sponsor. Today's sponsor is myself. To support the channel, click the join button below the video and you will get access to our privately hosted rocket chat. Selecting the 199 option will get you access and after that you need to head over to the membership tab, scroll down and expand out your membership perks. Find the section for connecting on social media and in that section there will be a secret registration URL to join Rocket Chat where you can sign up to enjoy talking with other cryptocurrency enthusiasts and miners without spammers, scammers, or bots. Welcome back. So for these types of videos I'm trying to give you guys the short answer before we even get into the talking part and the meat of the video. And if that is helpful, make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe and all that stuff to support the channel. The reason we have more to talk about here is because we need to clarify the difference between the merge and of course sharding and ETH 2.0 as a whole. And then of course, what you can be taking a look at to be able to tell if it's going to be delayed to Q1 of 2022 or not. And so starting things off, let's talk about the merge. The merge is when we will move from proof of work to proof of stake. There's no stopping it at this point. There are no ifs, maybes, ands, or buts, or anything like that about it. And so as a miner, you need to be prepared to either move to another coin or start liquidating your GPUs. Do your own research and make that decision for yourself and let me know in the comment section at what you are thinking about doing because I am curious. Now, me personally, I will be expanding my farm and we have some a building out here that we are gonna be putting everything in and that will be documented here coming up in July. So if you're interested in that, be sure to once again subscribe because we have all that content coming. So the merge will be happening like we said in Q1 of 2022 most likely with the earliest being somewhere around September, October timeline before we get into that whole holiday season of 2022. So it's not really the end of 2022 like December. If we've made it to December and nothing has changed or the merge is not coming or hasn't come already, then you're safe at least for another month, I suppose. Now, Q1, to clarify, is going to be three months, <laughs> which will be January, February, and March, just to make sure that we clarify that and correct a previous snafu. Uh, I typically pay quarterly taxes and part of that is paying taxes in April and so those months kind of all just go together. Anyways, that's that's my mistake, my bad. All right, so what can you be taking a look at if you are worried about the delay and you are wondering if you're gonna have more time to mine? Unfortunately, at this point, we don't know for sure, but what we can start paying attention to is the Shanghai fork. Now, the fork will be coming uh, provided by a team that is separate from the merge team. However, there are some cues we can take from it. If there are a lot of EIPs being added to Shanghai, then according to Tim Bako, it is more than likely that we will see a delay for the merge. Now to be extra safe, what I would say is specifically look for proof of work EIPs. An EIP, to clarify once again, is an Ethereum improvement proposal. And so these get added into these forks and when they get added in, they basically change different things about the Ethereum network and how it functions. If you start seeing any proof of work EIPs in Shanghai specifically, then you are probably looking at a delay for the merge and this is important to pay attention to. Other things that you can always take a look at is like ETH's magicians as well as the Discord and a, a lot of different community discords including of course Red Panda Mining's Discord 
And of course you can check out our rocket chat, which you should have seen the instructions for at the beginning of the video because this is the self-sponsored video today. Now, personally, what I am going to be looking at is Shanghai very closely and seeing if there are a lot of EIPs being added and I will keep you guys updated as much as possible on what I think is going to happen there. As far as what this means for purchasing GPUs, etc., you would want to ROI by the end of the year for 2021 if your main plan is to mine Ethereum. There are other coins out there and Ravencoin has become quite a bit more profitable in recent weeks. And it's possible with the implementation of EIP 1559 in the London fork that Raven coin becomes more profitable. The problem being is if another coin becomes more profitable like Raven coin and miners move over to it, if too many move over to it, the network might not be able to support the amount of hash rate due to the difficulty rise of that network and the low price of the coin. Now Raven coin in particular is a kind of special case because the block rewards are so high. It's 5,000 per block reward, and at the end of the year, at the halving, it will be 2,500. The current price of Ravencoin at making this video is around six to seven cents per coin, but the block reward is high enough to compensate for this. That is only true under current network conditions and is important to keep in mind that that will probably change. Now, there are a few things on this channel that will be changing as well that we need to be talking about and that is obviously the studio as well as getting moved into a mining farm. Additionally, the views have gone down quite a bit because the interest in crypto has gone down and what that does tell me is it is possible we are moving into a bear market which is the only reason I pointed out. The last time I saw the dip in, of course, the views along with the kind of dip in the interest of crypto on search terms, this was the case. Now, there are other explanations for this as well. Red Panda Mining's channel, for example, is staying pretty steady as far as across the board, but it isn't going up like it normally does. You see, there are different types of content. The type of content I do for this channel is primarily how to's and then the talking head videos where we talk about bigger news topics as opposed to what Red Panda does, which is more of a vlog style. That's why typically on a vlog style, you'll see kind of the numbers keep going up and up and up and up, but a little bit slower. And then on something like mine, you'll see like days where you get like crazy high views and then come back down and then crazy high views and then back down. So looking at my statistics, I can tell you guys basically the interesting crypto because it's primarily based on the keyword search terms but if we're taking a look at you know something like red panda mining statistics then what we would be wanting to see is a slow uptick and it's kind of on a slow side tick like indicative of like a i guess a bear market of views for vlogging mining content and this also could be just due to mining not being as big of a deal as other topics within cryptocurrency, meaning that it wouldn't be necessarily true that just because the channels are performing less and less and the interest in crypto is being less and less that crypto is necessarily going into a bear market, especially when we're talking about mining channels in particular. These are all topics I want to discuss at length with you guys later on, but I definitely wanted to kind of give you guys the heads up on what I'm seeing from my end. And as far as everything goes with the channel, we'll be making videos every day. So make sure you come back and check for a new video every day in the case that we have any sort of fun shadow banning due to the crypto topics. That's what I hear is going on with some of the larger channels. I don't know if that's going to happen with this one. We'll just have to wait and see. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this content, you can watch more by clicking this playlist up here or go ahead and subscribe.